because it makes not really. No. Like it doesn't well, want to stay lit. Yeah, it's I'm a piece. Right. It's a piece of shit. Like it's it looks really cool and. That one just doesn't want to light yeah, anymore. But when it does light, it stays lit. That yeah. one lights, but doesn't stay lit. It's yeah, like I need fluid for mine too. We need to combine the two, and maybe we'll get somewhere. <laughs> maybe we'll have a cohesively whole lighter. You know, I mean, you might as well get one that works. It would be it would be pretty pretty nice to get one that works. Granted, what did you spend four ninety nine on this at Walmart? Uh. <sighs> I actually I think it's, it's more expensive. More than that. It's it's more expensive than that, yeah. No. Yeah, it's Seriously? like it's closer to like eight bucks. I don't remember how much I spent on it, but I know it wasn't as cheap as four dollars and some change, unfortunately. No, I got I mine for that. free because the last person I was with wasn't not only the biggest liar I've ever met, she was also a thief. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> God, so let's put that. Let's put a pin in that and come back later. <laughs> so I um, got it for free. That would be super <laughs> depressing to talk about on on. Uh, on record here, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna move on from that. How you guys doing today? Yeah, You're the I'm ungodly here. geeks. Uh, I'm, I'm having the worst week in a long time, <laughs> health wise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are sick. Food poisoning. Probably have the flu. At some point, you were probably hungover. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, that that sucks. So today, uh, we we've got a sort of hodgepodge of episodes because, admittedly. We 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 haven't done shit to prepare. Yeah, we have. Well, we 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 have sort of. I mean, we had a good idea. We wanted to go back and play, you know, a game from the past or whatever, and uh, and each of us play an old game and talk about it and all that. But uh, yeah, it was. It a, hasn't it was a... gone so well. No, no, it hasn't. So, I mean, I I picked grabbed by the goalies uh, rares first. Uh, Rare developer, their first Microsoft game. And uh, what was the one you picked, Luke? Uh, Spin Master. Yeah, there you go. And then I, Neo Geo. I, I actually uh, made the mistake of picking two games, Yeah, neither of which I could stand to play, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not that they're bad games. I, it's just that I think they're a product of their time and just haven't aged well. With, no. with a lot of old games, no matter how much you love the the art style or the concept or the story or the game or, you know... It, it they just don't age well because yeah. technology te- technology wise like gameplay is just so f- advanced nowadays yeah. has advanced so far nowadays it's so hard to go back. I mean, I, I'm going back to the one I was playing. Oh picked. my gosh! Yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, I, I I don't know. For me, it's less the gameplay part and more the storytelling part. Because all right, I picked the first game I picked was Breath of Fire, the original Breath of Fire on Super Nintendo. It's a very story driven game. And I love story-driven games, you know, like, but this, the problem with this one was it's, it's pacing is so slow. It's very long-winded and JRPG, it, it's right? Not a, it's not an issue of the technology, like you're saying. It's actually just, it's arbitrarily slow, and you can tell it's arbitrarily <laughs> slow. <laughs> like, Damn. when it takes, all right, you know, it's something like, you know, opening cutscenes, the initial story, it's sitting it all set up, right? It's like... It takes ten seconds for eight fucking words to appear on the screen, and then they <laughs> oh remain God, for another man. five seconds. And like, okay, and we, we work third shift. A game like that is not right. No, it's yeah, not no. doable. So I'll I sat there in no time. Like I'm, I'm like I, I was explaining to them out in our li- in, my, in my living room before we came in here. I was watching a Philly D video when I first tried to start playing the game. The Philly D video was seventeen minutes long. By the end of the Philly D video, I still wasn't playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> like. That's uh, that's some Final Fantasy bullshit. Yeah, like Final Fantasy thirteen. It was one of those things where yeah. you, you let it go. You, and I was playing on my 3ds, so I started the fucking game. I set it down and just completely ignored it because I couldn't get into how slow the story was displaying, and so I just left it. Metal Gear Solid Four, Guns of the Patriots. Yeah, oh, yeah. the ending where you can take a nap. <laughs> and it's the still going. It's still Hour playing. and a half cutscenes. Yeah. It's like it, that that game actually came up in a in a group chat on a, on a server I'm a part of where it's like basically someone made fun of it by saying waiter there's a little bit of gameplay in my movie and I don't like it so yeah. oh, I, I love mean, it when they uh, split the cutscenes by running through a hallway yeah like oh okay <laughs> like you have four out like you have like a four minute cutscene you run down a hallway for twelve seconds and then you have another six minute cutscene it's like. Uh, and that those are the short ones, like yeah. the really short ones. Yeah, like Gear. those are short. But yeah, when it comes to Breath of Fire, I couldn't get into it. And by the time yeah. I was actually playing the game, like, dude, it was literally like 
half an hour. Oh my god! Until I was mm. just walking around the initial village, and I'm like, I can't do this. And it's not that I don't like the game. Like the game is fine. The story yeah. is really cool with magic and dragons and time and shit. Like fuck yeah, I'm always in the border for that kind of fantasy setting. It was just, it was just the the initial pacing was so slow that by the time I got to the game, I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. And like taking a little bit of time to introduce the world is fine. You know, Skyrim has like a 10 minute, 12 minute opening sequence, but it keeps you engaged. You've got, uh, the Witcher three has a similar type of thing, but it, t- it sets a, it sets up a story, but it doesn't feel arbitrarily slow. Like this did, like this literally felt like they purposely slowed all the initial yeah. cut scenes down to make sure you could follow along. Well, we're we used, we're used to moving faster nowadays, anyway. Right, and that's that's the, the point I'm space, getting at. Yeah, yeah, that's the point I'm getting at. Where it's like, like it's a product of its time. It's mm-hmm. and it just hasn't aged well. Yeah. So I'm not saying the game is bad by any metric, because I'm sure the game is great. I mean, it's a classic. It's very popular. It's highly rated. So I'm not bashing the game. I'm saying that because its pacing was so slow and my attention span is practically zero these days. I couldn't get into it. Yeah. So yeah, I I never I never played beyond like I walked around the first village, <laughs> I bought some weapons and then discovered I didn't even need the weapons I bought because I already had weapons <laughs> that were better. <laughs> so Yeah. Brutal. Yeah. I mean, mine all right, one of my favorite game series is ever is uh Splatterhouse. The old uh, horror game franchise that nobody gives a shit about anymore for yeah, some it's reason. It's pretty much dead. Yeah. Um rip very sad and, and it's not even fucking backward com- backwards compatible for xbox or whatever anymore and it bothers me to no end every time i think about it mm-hmm. but like i was tickled to death to see that grabbed by the ghoulies is like a beat for beat plot wise like a complete ripoff of the splatterhouse <laughs> franchise where like guy and a girl guy, boyfriend and girlfriend walking through the woods weather gets bad oh i know what to do let's run into this scary gigantic haunted looking mansion and then we get attacked what by could go wrong an evil mad scientist and his monsters and he kidnaps your girlfriend and then you got to get your girl back and then like the the game the art style was really charming and stuff like that and it it's basically enter a room you have to clear the enemies before you can uh, before the doors will open and you can go into the next room. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's uh, it's about six and a half hours long. I, I went through. You you spend maybe two minutes in each room. It's 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 fast in that, but it, it's it's just it's a top fast. down beat 'em up, right? Yeah, okay. but it's the same exact thing over <laughs> and over again for six to seven hours oh my God. and i i was i was literally falling asleep playing it i got through it but uh yeah my work my work was done for the, for the <laughs> yeah for the week when it comes to the podcast after that game <laughs> the challenge hey, the, yeah. that's the problem with some of those old the top down shooters the top down beat em ups even the side scrolling like streets of rage which is one uh or um, Double Dragon, I almost got. That was something mm. that I was debating on getting. Um, but I had played it before, and that's why it was something I'd never played. But uh, those games, the problem with those is, especially without the stress of running out of quarters, it's hard to keep playing those games. Yeah, after like, a while, uh, I, I like, actually eh. bought that. I I play. I downloaded the Streets of Rage collection not yeah. too long ago, and I played the shit out of those games when I was like. 14 or 15 or some whatever and you know i made it like halfway through the first one and i'm yep. like i can't i, can't, I did the same I thing with gold i just rather keep it keep it in my mind keep it in my memory yeah, yeah just just let just those, let the those uh, beautiful happy memories right, of this yeah. game just and let nostalgia leave it, there and leave it alone let nostalgia oh, be yeah. nostalgia yeah. and don't go back to it <laughs> yeah like there are very few older games that i can go back to that where my nostalgia is like yeah this is still really good um and it's mostly like Legend, like Legend of Zelda, um, A Link to the Past. Mm-hmm. Like that's an old game I can go back to and still play and think, yes, this is just as good as when I first played. I love it. Yeah. But then there are are games. Um, what is it? Ghosts and Ghouls or whatever. Um, go. Uh... Ghosts and Goblins? Ghosts and Goblins, yeah. yeah. I oh go back God. to that game. I loved that game. One of the games that's, it was, like, unbeatable. <laughs> yeah, it's hard as hell, but I loved it when I was a kid. I go back to it now, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm going to break something. <laughs> like, yeah, 
you fucking finish the game, and then the boss laughs at you and makes you play it through again. Yeah. And if you die, if win. you fucking die, don't you have to restart? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If you yeah. lose all your lives, it was you're one. Done. Of, it was one of the first. Well, no. Uh, the replay, you you die once, and that's all you get. Yeah. And mm. then you have to start it all over completely. Oh my god. Yeah. Fuck. No, I, I mean, but there's only one useful weapon in that whole game, and that's the knives. Yeah. I and um or like Mega Man, like I, I yeah. bought the Mega Man Legacy Collection. I forgot how brutally hard those games are. So like, yeah, I don't want to play Mega Man games anymore. Like I'll go back and play Mega Man X because it was it was it had that its one challenges. feels more fair. Yeah, it's challenging, but not mm-hmm. overly so. Whereas like I'll go back and play like the original Mega Man or Mega Man Six was my favorite of the original Nintendo Mega Mans. Yeah, just because and it's so stupid, but it added the jetpack power, which I fucking loved, and um, it was it's just it's. It's so brutally difficult because the enemies, that, like, they just respawn endlessly. There is no pause. Yeah. You have no room to breathe. You keep running and jumping and shooting. Jump yeah. and shoot. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. You just jump and shoot. Yeah. But, yeah. That's, um, I, I do the same thing when I go back to pick up Mega Man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Dot, you know, Dot can do a lot. Jump and shoot. Fighting bosses. And it's just uh, two hours in, and I'm like, I fucking, I'm gonna kill myself if well, I play wow. this anymore. I get like maybe ten minutes in. Like yeah. I, 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 like I said, I mean, That's I played. What breaks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I played uh, Mega Man, the original Mega Man. Went to Cut Man stage. Like I remember this, and the, yeah, like why won't that? Why won't they stop spawning? You know, it, just, <laughs> it just kept going. Like like it's just no, I'm good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, like you know, Dark Souls is difficult, but it's fair. Like because if. If you, uh, it's not always fair. No, no, I not know, always. I know, I know, but, <laughs> but but most of the missteps are just are just you are are legitimately you. It, eventually, you yeah. get to the yeah. point where you have the skill. You yeah, can keep you, playing. You also, start, you can. It's an RPG, so you get better. So you start. To, yeah, you start to learn. You start to. You, there is no learning with Mega Man. <laughs> Like it's literally you. You walk to a point where enemies start spawning, and they don't stop spawning. Like they just keep coming endlessly. There's no dodging them. Because you just you got to keep going. You just you, you never stop moving. Yeah. So Whereas like at least with Dark swing. Souls, at least Dark Souls, you know, you you come across like your uh, your campfires and shit, where it's kind of chill for at least at least a second. You have yeah. breathing room. You know, not with Mega Man games, not with these original these old Nintendo games that are just brutal. Yeah. Like they just they literally throw a wave of wave after enemy. It's like it would be like if China said fuck it. And decided to invade everywhere. They could just throw waves of people at you, except it would just not be. En- it would just be endless. Yeah. Hey man, get yeah. good. Exactly. You gotta get good. Get, yeah, I, I know. Good. And I used to be good, and I'm just not anymore. Yeah. Because I mean, I've I've completed these games. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I I have because that's what I grew up playing. I can't go back now. I can't. I, can't. I mean, that's all we had back then. Yeah. That's the that's the I, one like, main difference is like oh I got uh, I got Mega Man too. I'm just gonna play Mega Man Two or yeah. Mario, and that's yeah. my only choice. It doesn't matter if I suck at platforming. I'm gonna get good. Like I'm still yeah. good at platforming. Like I, I'm still good at platforming, even in a 3D space. I'm still good at platforming. But when it comes to stuff like Mega Man, jumping and shooting, it doesn't click. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't click anymore. It do- I'm I'm terrible. I suck. I need to get good, like you said. Yeah, there are scrub. like a select few games from back in the day that. They are as big a deal as they are be for a reason, like your yeah. Mario 64s and your Resident Evil 4s and <clears throat> stuff like that because they are timeless. Yeah, you can go back and play them. Um, the game I picked is a little bit different. Like I said, I think I talked about it in the last podcast. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what? I was like, wait, what game did you pick? Luke? <laughs> Spin Master, something no one's ever heard, or ever heard of because it came from the Neo Geo, and it's not King of Fighters or... Uh, uh, that samurai fighting game. <laughs> like it still boggles my mind. Like the Neo Geo is like, like that's all we got on the Switch when it comes it's pathetic. to. It's like why? Why do we have that? And, yeah. and here's the thing. Like, like a lot of the games on there are just clones of each other. Have you noticed that? Oh yeah, a lot of those fighting like there's, games there's, are the same there's, exact model. There's almost. sixteen schmups. Mm-hmm. And there's like thirty five fighting games, but they're all the same fighting game. Yep. Just different sprites. It's like. What the hell, man? Uh, there's a samurai fighting game uh, roommate of, that I used to live with yeah. in Michigan was a big fan of. And I remember eventually they remade it, I think, on the Xbox. First time I had played it. And it was actually legitimately a different style fighting game. Right. Because I, I believe you could have instant kills and it was more – you had to be tactical about it. Whereas most fighting games, you just got to know the combos and you know how to juggle people or whatever. Depending right. on whichever yeah. one you're playing. Right. 
Um, and that one was interesting. And I, I thought about getting that, uh, but I went with Spin Master. Because it's, of all those games, the Neo Geo seemed like it, it had most of its games looking more uh, hardcore, more realistic. Like, right, there's right. there's uh, one of the games is, um, uh, like, Legends of the Luftwaffe is a game where you play a fighter pilot in World War II and you're oh, shooting right. down Nazi spacecraft. Hmm. Like, Wait, Nazi s- flying saucers. Oh, no. wow. <laughs> yeah, say, it's what? crazy. Like, yeah, you that, said that spacecraft. Like, are you were going Nazi. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, okay, that's normal. And then you said spacecraft. Yep. And I'm like, what? No, I'm interested now. Yeah, yeah. The, like, the bosses are all these crazy, like... Um, what if Nazis had these giant experimental aircraft and stuff? And you're still flying like a, a Mustang or like an old World War II B fifty two and shit, and shooting yeah. down right. these giant. You're spacecraft. describing it's the awesome. greatest game ever. <laughs> They're great. No, I love I love those shooters, but okay. I also know my anger levels. I wasn't going to be able to play one of those. Right? Yeah, so, I, I love shmups like that. Yeah. I love oh, they're fun. They're yeah. fun. And we talked about the fact that if you could turn the switch and have it. Um, Tall, long yeah. ways. Yeah, playing a top-down shooter would be amazing. It would be, yeah, it would be incredible. It would be cool. Yeah, like I, I would, I would buy that game yeah. immediately. Somebody needs to develop one for with that purpose in mind. But we have to but. have a way to to keep the the switch standing too. Yeah, oh, yeah. So that I help. mean that that's that's a bit ways off. So somebody design a case to keep the switch standing up on its side. Well, I don't think I I'll don't mess think, with it later and see if I can. I don't, yeah, I don't but. think I don't. You know, um, you take your Joy Cons off while I talk. Yeah. So this game uh, is like the opposite of all that. It's cartoony as fuck. Like the main character, uh, I, I, the description's great. It's uh, Spin Master, a side-scrolling action game uh-huh. released by Data East in 1993. Yeah, uh, Luke, this no, ain't happening. It ain't happening. No, okay. it's gonna fall. You would need a break. Uh, the yeah. adventure. <laughs> The adventurer Johnny, along with his best friend Tom, will use a large variety of weapons and attacks in order to retrieve his beloved at the stolen uh, and the stolen treasure map from the mad scientist Docker Doctor Deplain. Which I just love the fucking villain's name being Deplain. <laughs> that sounds absolutely retarded. It is. It's so bad. I was like, I have to play that game. Right. So. You start off, and it's a side-scrolling action game, like I talked about, like Streets of Rage, like uh, Golden Axe. Um, it even is, has... Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Yeah. Hard as dicks. Uh, fun actually, fuck. no, because that one you can move up and down. Oh, so this it's... Is, this is so just... It's, it's more like Contra. This is like Contra games. or yeah. um, gold, specifically... Gold. No, Golden Axe you can move No, Golden Axe was more like yeah, TMT. Like that's Contra. why when you said Golden Axe, I said TMT, yeah, too, because yeah, right. that's the way that worked. Which yeah, this one's on game one game. plane. Of Which course, I'd... you can go up and up or down, but well, you can jump like, up to yeah, up a, to... a higher level. Yeah, but it's strictly side scroll, two yeah. D, no, no additional third Actually, plane. It's almost exactly like Contra. You can even aim diagonal and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it was actually I beat it in like an hour or two hours. It's 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 uh, I don't know why it was on the Neo Geo. It feels like an arcade game. It, well, has well, that's, and that's, stuff. that's actually what the Neo Geo was. Oh, it, it was oh, okay. um, it was basically arcade games brought into the home. Oh, then that makes more sense. Yeah, um, the the original concept was exactly that. Like yeah. it was it was taking arcade cabinets and stuff and just porting those games over to a home mm-hmm. console. And if I recall correctly, it was outrageously expensive, which is why it wasn't quite as popular as something like the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo was two three hundred dollars in its day. Neo Geo, I think, that ran around six right. or seven hundred. So. Yeah, it was super expensive. It was like one of the most expensive consoles for yeah, a very long time. I think the only thing that ever eclipsed it that I can remember, and I could be wrong. I, I'll have to research this a little bit, but if I recall correctly, I know like the 3DO and the various models that were made could run you as much as eleven, twelve hundred dollars. I'm fuzzy on that. Oh wow! Yeah, like I think we had we had the Panasonic 3DO, which was only six ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, but uh, Gold Star made one. Um, Philips made one, and a couple other companies made one. And depending on the company that made it, and I guess I don't know feature set, because I guess some 3DOs had more features than others. They were all capable of playing the same games, but yeah. some had additional features like I don't know laser disc playing shit. Or, and I then don't, they didn't I don't know. sell very well. Yeah, well, some of them, some of them reached up into eleven, twelve hundred dollars range. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 
Like, that's ridiculous, hey, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta hey, back you then play. too, like mm-hmm. that's that was a shitload of money. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, this is before like PS4 or PS4, PS1 and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, it's yeah we're talking like, we're talking like ninety three, yeah. ninety four, where yeah. it's like laser discs and and CDs being used in that matter was almost brand new, because up until. I mean, yeah, we had been using CDs for computer software and stuff, but to sit there and put, like, a game on it like that and put that technology into a smaller console was unheard of at the time. Mm. So 3DO was a pioneer. It was kind of a new thing. And it was probably our first step into DVDs because they could also play video CDs. Oh. So, hmm. yeah. It just never kicked off. Yeah, no, it was just too expensive. And... uh I it wasn't too much longer actually before DVDs were starting to be developed. Like right. Maybe four or five more years. Um, it wasn't until two thousands though that DVDs became practical, but mm-hmm. they were developed much earlier. All right. Well, that's a good history lesson. <clears throat> but uh, this game comes with two modes, right? Main modes anyway. Right. There's the Japanese version and the English version. The Japanese version also, uh, apparently the original name of the game wasn't Spin Master. It's Miracle Adventure. Yeah, that sounds like something that would be weird. Yeah, like, I guess like it's weird, weird but Japanese-y. I don't know why they... I, I, I could They're see that being, still being the name. They're both generic Japanese video game titles. Yeah. Well, the reason it's called Spin Master is the main... The starter weapon you get in this game is yeah. a yo-yo. Oh, okay. And so your character's flicking a fucking yo-yo, and you're fighting like terrorists right and they're very clearly well they're the commando looking guys in right. green shirts and stuff but they have balaclavas and stuff that some of them will walk out with bombs with the skull and crossbones and the lit views on them and throw them at you there it's fucking great the weapons you get um are like there's no there's no like rhyme or reason to them Right. There's the yo-yo. You get a boxing glove, which a character like shoots giant boxing gloves out. You get <laughs> like if, so. I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be all mundane stuff. But no, you get bombs. You get f- Mario fireballs. We should just, just throw fire. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's throwing stars, which you throw like four of them at once. How much was this game? Like seven ninety nine, I think, or, so, I, or whatever know what? the price of normal this is, this is so dumb. I might have to buy this yes. game because like, it's just so dumb. It was so dumb, but it was actually really fun. Like, uh, I mean, I was dying over and over, but you just hit one button and you add credits, and each credit gets you uh, the standard three lives. So I'm just like, eh, I don't care. Keep hitting that, sa- that fucking it's just, credit it's just, button. Yeah, it's on free play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was a little disappointed, though, that the Japanese version wasn't, like, super harder or anything. <laughs> It was just the same. Yeah, I mean that's generally how it goes. Like, oh yeah, like you compare the two different versions of Final Fantasy IV, which we got Final Fantasy II, but it's Final Fantasy IV, and we got like a super. Well, there's like toned... Mario and the Secret Love. Uh, yeah, the Secret se- Levels, the they Lost Levels, is another them. one. Yeah, but like like Final Fantasy II for us is a f- way cut down, way easier yeah. version than the actual game is, and it's actually called Easy Type for yeah. Europe, which is the same game. And it's like, oh, okay. It's because we're Americans. And then, of course, like you said, uh, the lost levels for Super Mario, like, that was originally supposed to be Super Mario 2, but then we got a rebranded version of Doki Doki Panic. Which was... I mean, good game. Nintendo. It's a good game, but it was deemed that we... Hey, Donkey loves it. The remake of it is great. Don't get me wrong. On the uh, Game Boy Advance, the original Doki Um, Doki Panic is almost unplayable. Or, but, I mean, um, Mario 2 is awful. I had no problems playing to it. I hated it. But, uh, Either way. Yeah, no, like, yeah, like yeah, that's was, the thing. I was kind of disappointed. I really wanted to play it, and I was planning on counting how many times I had to restart, how many credits I would use. Yeah. And I was planning, and I was like, oh, this isn't really any harder. I'm beating the first and second bosses with no problem. Same, same, so same like, kind of. Eh, oh, well. It's just got Japanese text. Uh, every mission, you, the only dialogue, or, or only um, voice is when you beat a mission, you beat the boss, you get a piece of the map to find your girlfriend, and the character says something, and at first, I thought he said, yippee ki motherfucker. Which it, because would it's be like, amazing. It's what I thought. I was like, did he just say what I think he said? Because it's like, yippee ki yay mother! <laughs> and I'm like, what? But I played the Japanese version, and he very clearly says, I'm going to get you, Dr. Plane! <laughs> well, that's lame. 
Yeah, I was like, did they put Japanese in the English version instead? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but it sounded, I swear to God, for a while I was giggling and saying, hey, you became a motherfucker. I guess I beat each boss. But uh, it's I, it's actually, like, legit really fun. Right. Um, it even has magical attacks, like uh, Golden Axe, where right, right. you hit the button and, like, you're, you'll shoot boxing gloves everywhere. Or um, there's like a meteor attack where a meteor shower comes down with one of them. Like it's it's really crazy. The bosses are nuts. Um, Confirmed the... that's uh, Bethesda copied this game for Alduin's ultimate attack. Yep, totally copy, total rip off. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's, oh, it's fucking. There's no it, it such was thing as original fun. originality anymore. Yeah, nope. everything's a copy of a copy of a copy. Yeah, oh yeah. You beat the game, uh, and I I thought there would be something extra. <clears throat> Because when you co- beat the game, collect all the map pieces, you choose where you go, and then the game just ends, and I think you hug your girlfriend or something like that, and you put in your high score. So I don't know. I'm going to have to play through it again and right. see if choosing a different place does something else. Um, the cool thing is they come with a high score mode and a mode called caravan mode, Yeah, which is apparently a um, every it times you every five minutes. And you're shooting for the highest score you can get in five minutes. Oh, that's cool. It's like time attack. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah Which, whatever. I don't know. Like it's it's fun. Just a this is so like classic killer. Classic us. Yeah. Like we start this podcast out like we were gonna talk about these old games <laughs> that we played. <laughs> Thirty five minutes later, we're still talking about them. Well, I mean, <laughs> I I'm still I still have a little bit more to say about yeah. the game because uh, I had to choose a different game hey, because. Fuck yeah. it. Whatever. I couldn't get through Breath of Fire, so I chose Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Mm-hmm. I like this game. Like this game is legitimately enjoyable, but it's really it, it. It goes back to the Mega Man thing where it's just hard. Yeah, like it's it's brutal. Um, it's got different uh, like different areas. You know, like you're in town. It's a top down view, kind of like Zelda, but then you go into the actual action level, and it goes into side scrolling mode. And the game is fun. It's like a, is it a Ninja Gaiden ripoff or no? It's okay. Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've ever. I don't know. I've yeah. never played it. That's um, why I have no idea. It's I, I never played it either because it, I don't remember it being popular really outside of Japan. Was that NES SNES a- SNES? Oh, not to cut you off, but that does remind me. The whole reason I ended up playing this game was pretty much I was like, I'm going to play something on the Switch. Mm-hmm. Um, also because I completely forgot that I had an SNES Classic sitting under my uh, stool in my room that Maybe I could have pulled out. Just up. Got okay, it. is it even out of the box? He, uh, well, it's back in the box, but oh, it was it. out of the box because I you ran just, out of HDMI ports. Luke's just got awesome shit that uh, like, I'm, I'd die to have <laughs> just sitting around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, Luke's got SNES classics. Meanwhile, yeah. I got a little box plugged into my thing over here where I can turn lights on and off with my voice. <laughs> just, so, I mean, just, just, lights off. <laughs> lights off. Yeah, no, like, literally, I was standing outside of my fucking apartment, like, out on the street, looking back at my balcony as I was turning the lights on and off, because you can see the <laughs> yeah. red lights reflecting outside, and I'm like... I sat there for maybe two or three minutes and realized I'm fucking retarded. And then I did it the next day, coming down the hill from from the bus stop. I'm just walking, and I'm just like, I look up like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck with this, and boom, boom. It'd be great to fuck with somebody in your apartment like that if they didn't know. Well, I gotta find it. I gotta find out who's coming in here. Someone's definitely well, yeah, here. At that point. Anyway, yeah, back to Legend of the Mystical Ninja. It's, just, it, it's a good game, man. Like you play as, but it's definitely really more geared towards a uh, uh, like two player support because it's. Like at all times, you always have a second character that can jump in, okay. but it's on 3DS, so it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's definitely more of a co-op beat 'em up game, um, more like in the vein of TMT2, or even like your game, kind of. Yeah, how you described it, it kind of works that way. Uh, so it's definitely a game that you want to play with another person, because I, I I'm not great at it but i don't even if i were to get better at it i don't see me completing it i've gotten as far as the first boss and there's no tutorials on these games at all oh no <laughs> these classics no but like, mine had a mine was fucking monotonous with the amount of tutorials that threw at you like this oh is a, this is preschool shit here it's in the worst i that's get the it worst i got time it. when fucking the the old xbox xbox 360 games back when they fucking handheld you like a motherfucker yeah, the oh, yeah. original xbox there's yeah, this I, yeah. butler character his whole his sole purpose is he's like tutorial guy yeah 
butler walks in, walks you through everything, and it's uh, yeah. I, I'm actually, and that's actually something I enjoy is that there's not a tutorial. Mm-hmm. It's just here's the game, here's the story, get to going, go do the thing, whatever the thing is <laughs> you want to do. So when I fir- when I got to the first boss, I had no fucking clue what I was doing. I was trying to hit her at the the pipe thing that you start with. I'm like, why can't I hit her? <laughs> I love it's a ninja game. We start with a fucking pipe. Yeah, no, you use a pipe and you can get these little bouncing cats. Because uh, you fight like, like in the town, you just fight villagers. Like you got a samurai that wanders around. You got a, you got like a fisherman who will throw a fish. It will drop a fish when you kill him and the fish can kill you. It's like, oh my God. So you got to hit him and then hit the fish. You got, uh, there's like another it was weird the fish the whole time. There's another weird Japanese kind of character because it's a very samurai Japanese ninja type game. Yeah, um, it's a great game though. But like you kill enemies, they drop little bouncing cats, and you pick up the bouncing cat and upgrade your weapon. So you start with like a short range pipe. You can get a longer range pipe, and then you can finally upgrade <laughs> you to get a, a longer pipe. Yeah, you get a longer pipe, and then you you can upgrade to it's the original uh, a, condemned a spiked yo-yo. See, yo-yos yeah. are weapons in yeah, Japan. Yo-yo. Man. Earthbound as a you can get yo yo's as weapons and yeah. all characters can equip them. Nice, but uh, yeah, like and it's a great, it, it's a fun game. It's really cool, but it's, it's it's one of those things where it's difficult to a point where you definitely want a friend or somebody playing with you mm-hmm. because uh, the invincibility frames when you get hit are very short. Uh, okay. I'm talking like second at the most. You mm-hmm. get hit. And then within a second, you can get hit a second time if you haven't dispatched that thing. And when you get hit, any weapon upgrades you have, you, you drop down to the last oh, upgrade. God, I hate yeah, that. I hate what that the too. Fuck? Yeah, it's terrible. Fuck so you have that you have shit. your spiked yo yo. You get hit, you drop down to the, the longer pipe. You get hit again, you drop down to the shorter pipe. That is no. such bullshit. Terrible. That's Ghost and uh, Goblin style. Yeah, yeah, like Ghost nope, and Goblin style. And it's like, I get to the first boss, I had no idea how to beat her. She she like she fires out these uh these bouncing energy balls. Mm-hmm. You have to hit the balls and hit her. Like you have to knock them back and hope oh, they clever bounce off. An older game like yeah, that. it's really cool though. Like yeah. I like the execution. I never beat her though, and I gave up <laughs> after I died. Like, dude, I've died. I, I must have you. died about forty times playing this game. Yeah, but I keep going back to it because it actually is a legitimately fun game. Unfortunately, it's on my 3ds, and I don't like my 3ds anymore. Yeah. Like I said, like I've stated it in the past, my Switch has pretty much replaced it. Mm-hmm. So when that when when Switch starts getting like co- like like the Give virtual consoles, games, once yeah. we start getting VC games on here from older titles, like older systems, I will probably almost entirely abandon my 3DS. Yeah, because I mean the Switch is just so much nicer, and it's got just better overall everything. So. Yeah. Uh, what you said about tutorials actually reminded me something. Uh, so I finished my entire game, and like I said, I went back and played it in the Japanese version after the fact. Um, apparently the entire time, I didn't realize that you can actually charge up your attacks and do, like, a special attack. <laughs> I played oh. through the entire game without that knowledge, and I just noticed, like, oh, when I hold the button, it looks like my character's turning into a Super Saiyan. I wonder what that's all about. And then I did it, and then he spun the yo-yo, like, 360 <coughs> degrees, like, uh... Castlevania style with the oh, whip. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Oh, oh, okay. I could have been uh, using special abilities this whole time." Well then, <laughs> I had no idea that that was a thing. Whoops! God damn it! Yeah, yeah. I don't. I like I said. I I just I like I like it when a game like it's one thing to okay. There's like the controls can do a million different things. Let's explain yep. those to you. But it's a whole other thing to just make you slog through a tutorial. That's that's one of the things that I I find. Pokemon games truly guilty of? Yes. Like if you're playing a Gen Forcing six you. game, and you've played every Gen so you know since then, like like me, I've played every Gen except Gen five. Mm-hmm. So when I started playing X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and they make me sit through the explanations of what Pokemon are, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> come on, man, <laughs> I fucking know. Can I just <laughs> skip this? <laughs> Like, give us an option to skip that. You live in a world of magical creatures called Pokemon. I know what Pokemon are. pocket monsters. Yeah, like, I know what Pokemon are. I know how to catch them. You throw balls at them. You weaken them. I know how to battle. Don't tell me how to do that. <laughs> like, can I... Just let me skip all this They totally don't shit. eat Pokemon. They don't... They, they don't, don't eat... They we don't swear. Eat in the descriptions, they totally say they eat each other, but they don't eat each other. And, oh, God. But yeah, Violent like like fucking monsters. Seriously, like like in a in a game series like Pokemon, 
Just just give me the ability to skip those tutorials. Yep. I understand. Okay, I've been playing I've been playing the games for 17 years now. I, I like that about Gears of War. Yeah. They they always said you want to go into the shit or do you want to like learn some stuff? Yeah. And and you just go into the shit and you skip the tutorials. I I love that. It's good. Um like it's one thing if it's the first game in the series, like okay, teach me some shit. Yeah. But like I said with Pokemon, it's like okay, there've been what 75 million games. There's 7,000 Pokemon. I know. Just let me fucking play the game. I'll figure the rest out. I know already. Yeah. Did either of you guys ever play the game? I think it originally launched on the Xbox 360 as an arcade download. Um, Breath of Death 7. What? No. What the so fuck is that? That did not, did not ring. What no. it is, is... I think, you know what it sounds like? Before you go any further, you know what Breath. it sounds like? It sounds like a... Breath of sh- Death. Wait, there were six six of these? Yeah, this? there were six of no, these. No, this okay. is the first one. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what it sounds it. like? It sounds like like a sci-fi movie that you would see at like 2 o'clock in yes. the morning. But there's like the title is misleading because it's like a romantic like novel or something. Oh, yeah, like the that. title sounds amazing. No. Yeah. no, no, what this game was is um, it came out. It was the first game in the series, Breath of Death 7. And How it's fun. a... <laughs> It's an RPG, oh but it's God. essentially, it's super, it, it's all a parody. So, uh, it's all a parody of all the different tropes in, um, like, Japanese, J, turn-based RPGs. You're, There's a uh, lot. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh it's, and I didn't even play a lot of those games, but I bought this game and loved every second of it. It's funny as fuck. Hmm. The main characters constantly take the piss out of the game. Um, the, you play, you actually play Death himself. And uh, all of you, the people you meet, all of your friends that join your quest are um, either ghosts or undead or goblins or something like that. And the reason is, at some point, um, planet Earth, like, something happened and all the humans died. And now it's just, like, monsters all roaming the destroyed planet. Okay. So your quest is to go and find out why and then bring all the humans back because death is bored. Oh, okay. That, yeah. I mean, that that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some far out games, man. Well, no, this one's. It's been. It was mildly popular when it came out. It even got a sequel. Uh, Cthulhu saves I mean, the world. Like conceptually. Yeah. No, I mean it was great. <laughs> I, hey, I think I played it because of X Play. Right. Yeah. I so, mean, that used to be. I a played thing. Splinter yeah. Cell just because of X Play. Yeah. So I'm right there with you. But uh, like I like I said, I did not. I hate turn based games especially old school JRPG ones like it's it's exactly like the original Final Fantasy hmm. um like down to the bosses are similar your attacks are similar like uh in the battles uh when you learn like some of the new moves you <clears throat> learn uh the characters tell you like you have to do something different yeah like they they'll have conversations and I wish it'd been recent I haven't played the game in years but like I know your final super move is there's a female character that falls in love with death the moment she sees him. And oh, okay. she's totally like uh, senpai notice me style all oh, about death. Oh God. Or, but even worse, she's like convinced they're together. And oh. death is the whole time. His response always to her is just like, uh, like he never acknowledges <laughs> her existence. And finally yeah. his final move is she's like, you have to be filled with love. And he's like, no. And he's like, do it. no, do it! No! And it's finally like she screams at him in the text and he's like, fine. And he unlocks his final ability and like wipes out enemies. Oh, wow. It was great. The game's like, it's got it, the story's funny, lots of heart, totally anybody should check it out. I wish I'd play in the sequel, because apparently uh, Cthulhu saves the world, where you play as Cthulhu and you have to save the world <laughs> <laughs> is also amazing. I they take the piss breath out of, of death games. seven, and yep. then the the sequel is called Cthulhu saves the world. Cthulhu saves the world. Yep, amazing, amazing. I'm in RPGs. for a game called Cthulhu saves the world. Yeah, yeah. no man. <laughs> I don't know. What, I, the Eldritch think... Abomination. Yeah, yeah. You know, just being a hero. Like... I know the tagline of that one. Like, is Cthulhu uh, has to try and save the world, and maybe along the way he'll find love or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like something crazy. You no, know, that sounds like something Deadpool would come up with. Exactly. Yeah. Like. It sounds like a novel that you would find Deadpool writing one day in crayon, of course, in yeah. like some raggedy notebook he found on like some guy he killed. <laughs> like, 
Like there's there's even in Breath of Death Seven, there's the the um the optional dungeon, the super hard dungeon that's yeah. like you have to fucking uh grind to be able to go through. Right. And the final boss is a giant rubber ducky. <laughs> <laughs> the duck in the dungeon. Okay, is are we sure that Ryan Reynolds didn't come up with this? I don't think while so. While trying to pitch a Deadpool movie to somebody? I mean, like, it was it was people who were very obviously huge fans of RPGs. Yeah, like, I mean... Like, they make fun of them in uh, the best ways. It's so good. Like, that just sounds utterly ridiculous. Like, it, it is. Seriously, it sounds like the plot to a Deadpool comic. Because it's so yeah. utterly insane. Yeah, it's a spoof game, really. Yeah. And it's done so well. That's I'm, why when you said you were playing Breath of uh, Breath, of, Breath Fire. of Fire, I was like, oh, that's where they got the title from. <laughs> Breath of Death 7. Breath of Death. Which, of course, might even be a parody of like the Dragon Quest games or Final Fantasy games, because, of course, there's like nine Dragon Quest games. There's fifth, what, 15 Final yeah. Fantasy, mainline Final Fantasy games, plus one that has two other games that share its title. It's like, dudes, no. Just, just stop. Yeah, yeah, that, Although, I guess Final thing. Fantasy... Although fifteen is apparently amazing, and I, I look forward to playing it because I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, I loved it. Yeah, like, like I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and bash that. Like it, it looks really good. <laughs> oh, like, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah. You weren't playing. You weren't playing Death. You were uh, Dem the Skeleton Knight. And you're Dem lucky because you're playing yep. after the update. I believe it was the thirteenth chapter in Final Fantasy fifteen. Yeah, it is like the you. The the game takes a completely different turn in the stage. You basically get locked in like this, uh, this like facility, yeah. And it's just you running through hallways, evading enemies, and it's it's like a, literally like a two and a half three hour like chapter. It sounds like it's, um, it's boring as hell, and they they patched it and they changed it and all that stuff. It, it's like the way you initially described it sounds like in Metroid Zero Fusion when Samus loses her suit and she's running around in just her her base suit. Yeah, you're separated and yeah. you have no weapons. You ha- yeah, like the only thing she has is this little pistol that she can and stun you have to hide enemies from- with, yep. but she can't oh. do much with. Yeah, it's that for like two three hours. Yeah, no that that sequence might last half an okay. hour. Yeah, like, no those sequences shouldn't last more than 15 minutes. Yeah, no it was it was yeah. so it was criminal insane. how 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 like oh, I made I played through it but yeah. oh god. Resident Evil 7 I'm going through a, a part where that's I have no weapons. I've lost everything and I'm already like I don't want to do this. I I've yeah. spent all this time collecting guns and bullets and shit. So you like take them all away. Like there's 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 a like in, all right, I've been playing tons of Skyrim again and I hate myself for it, but I'm enjoying the game. Yeah. So there there are sequences like that in Skyrim, but when you go to prison, mm-hmm. yeah, like when yep. you there there's the quest in uh Markarth. in Markarth to go through in the Sydney mine and all that to invest. I actually kind of liked that. It was good. Yeah, but like you can in those sequen in those instances you can at least augment your abilities. Like you can summon a fucking sword <laughs> in your hand, you know, a ghost sword. Yeah. So like. I I hate it. Like I don't care if you take my weapons away, but give me something to defend myself with. Give me a shiv. Give me a spoon with a sharpened edge. You know something. I mean, in in FF fifteen, you're Noctis, so you have like his, you know, his abilities, but yeah. they're they're mainly just self defense, and you're not killing anybody with yeah, anything. See. So, and that's that's the difference there. Like I said, I can summon and, a sword, I can summon a battle axe, I can summon a bow. Yeah, and anytime you know. you're seen, you're fighting a losing battle, so you don't want to get seen anyways, so. Right. See, and when I went and did that quest, finally, I, I had glitched the game where I took advantage of an exploit. I was stupidly high level, so I'm summoning, like, a storm atronach and a sword, and I'm just cutting things down while it strikes with lightning, so. <laughs> So do we do we want to move on to some news topics that that we were discussing yeah, we before coming that. in sure. here? We got a, we got about uh, 15 18 more minutes so we got a little more time. If we want to hit the hour mark, you know. Yeah, we might as well give them the full hour. <laughs> um so a couple things we thought of uh go watch the God of War trailer. Oh yeah. It's oh, amazing. My gosh. Yeah, no, it looks it I looks went really from good. being excited for it to like yeah. I need a PS4 Pro, like, right now. I need to get a new 4K TV, like, right now, in anticipation of this game. It was, like, like, like the trailer was next level good. Yeah, yeah you know, it's one of those things that's, like, it's just at, like, I've, all right, there's been a couple of PS4 exclusives as I've actually wanted to play, like, buy a PS4 for, uh, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn, Bloodborne, 
this is another one of those games that if I get the extra income, I'm probably going to buy it. Yeah. yeah. The, the tra- I mean, I was expecting the game to be more, you know, story-based and have a much better, like, story and stuff like that. But, yeah. but geez. Well, that's I was kind of blown away yet. with the trailer. Like, yeah. you know, the la- you see the Last of Us influence all over all over the game. Like, it's 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 way more focused. It's more, m- way more story-focused. Yeah. But um, not not in the same way that Breath of Fire was story focused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah. It's not I mean, you have something to fight for. Like you have your son with you the whole time. Yeah, the son aspect. I hadn't thought mm-hmm. about that. I hadn't thought about like oh, Kratos is struggling with what he used to be. It, you can see that it ails him constantly like he, yeah. his bandages on his arms. They're still bloody. I think so maybe it's choice. like an maybe it's like an unhealing wound or whatever and right. his son his his son is a demigod right. and and he that that struggle that inner struggle that's going to go on with his son is uh you know it's what I needed I needed to see some story beats cuz those trailers they showed so far yeah, didn't interest me at I can all. imagine Kratos would like not want his son to know anything about that right, and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, he's, he's oh, by the way, son, by you're the a way, demigod. And I, I, yeah, he has no choice. I killed all the other ones too. They I murdered his, all the gods over in Greece. In the, the first trailers, they I got much more of like a, a yes sir kind of vibe from his yeah. son. Yeah, and in this one, you can see like Kratos is famous for like being like. Oh, Zeus, I'm gonna fucking kill yeah. you. Whatever. Yeah. He's ang- he's a- he's the angriest video game character ever. And his son in this trailer is like screaming at Kratos at yeah. one point like how do you know it's not good to kill a god or whatever and is like I'm his son's yelling at a, an enemy like I'm gonna fucking blow I'm gonna your cut your head off. off. Yeah, I'm gonna You're cut like, your head off. <clears throat> That sounds more like Kratos' kid. Yeah, oh, yeah and I'm, sure. I, it gets me hyped for the future because I've heard like rumors like he could move to Egypt next, and and his and they've planted the seed with his replacement and his son in this one. Yeah. Like, what's his son gonna turn out to be? I yeah, think oh, I can't wait. As long as it doesn't the whole, go the Assassin's Creed route. I don't know. I mean, the, actually, it kind of almost is. No, 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 no. Not in the the location. Just oh. in the way the gameplay oh, differed oh, no. from from every game and got worse as the series went on. And like, oh no, I mean the fact that they've re they they they're redoing their entire gameplay. No, I get, like yeah. this new Assassin's Creed. They're doing what they needed to do, and it really looks like they're taking advantage of like like they're in you know they were in in Greek mythology. Now they're in Norse mythology. Yeah. Yeah. It really looks like they're taking advantage of all of like all of the, those mythos in this yeah. game, like oh, yeah. all the little details, and it looks like you're putting you a part like of that. a part of a living world. Yeah, unlike before. oh yeah, because before you you just ran around killing everything that moved. It's yeah, it's kind now of mindless. he's talking to characters. He's he's like, interacting with people. Yeah, yeah, well, like he's not like little dwarves and stuff but yeah Kratos well, is I mean, old and wrinkly and he's yeah. he's still fucking Kratos oh uh, absolutely he's rocking the beard I'm working on the Kratos like I was beard in <laughs> anticipation of the game also I'm sitting there watching this this trailer I'm sitting there thinking I gotta play the I gotta play some of these older games man I'm yeah. like I'm probably gonna have to emulate the first two but I don't know I think I think well yeah yeah I yeah. mean because they were on PS2 right I mean you can yeah. get the God of War collection It'll play. That PS2, plays on the PS4. Uh, PS3 was God of War 3, and uh, what? Uh, was there another God Ascension, of War? Ascension. And Chains of the Olympus was on Vita, I believe. Or oh. uh, PSP. Uh, I only uh, I played well, the I second Well, I could third. probably play that one, no problem. Ascen- I mean, I. I played Ascent. You can fucking take or leave Ascension, and I didn't play yeah. Chains of Olympus, but I heard really good things. I mean, my, my Vita is, oh, a, is a. Is a um, God of War 2, man. Yeah, it's kind of cracked. Still, it's fucking one of my amazing. Favorite games. Yeah, oh, I borrowed like I said, a friend's PS2 to play. It that. was it was the one of the last hoorahs on on PS2 for PS2, and it was graphically superior to a lot of things on PS3. Mm-hmm. Early games, it was one of the yep. best. It was the best looking game, like a, a year or so into the PS3, PS, uh, yeah. uh, Xbox 360, and life they cycle. released yeah. it for PS2. Like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, and you wouldn't even have known. 
Yeah, I mean, well, the PS2 had a really long life cycle. Oh yeah, definitely. you know they yeah. they didn't even stop they didn't stop manufacturing PS2s until they started manufacturing the PS4. And when I say that, I mean they yeah. were a year into manufacturing the PS4 like, when they who's finally buying, like who's buying it. But apparently, a lot of people were hey, still buying. I dude, if I could still get it brand new, if I could find a place that had it brand new, I'd buy it. Yep. Are you kidding yeah. me? It's too slim. Completionist in me. Yeah, like the PS. Have an entertainment center. You gotta have your PS2. Oh yeah, the PS2 was one of my my favorite systems that I had as a kid, and I never got to play the God of War games because my dad never bought them. But you know, like, dude, I have some of my favorite games. I like Final Fantasy X, uh, Castlevania: Lament of Innocence. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I really liked that game. It was a good game, <clears> in yeah. my opinion. And um, in other news, apparently DC has reslated again, and uh, they're yeah. you know. It's rumored that the the upcoming slate is Aquaman's up next. Well, that one's and, not uh, rumored. That has to it, be. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. the only one they have. Done. Well, yeah, and um, you know, not in this particular order, but it, you know, Shazam. Obviously, that's already cast. Wonder Woman two. That's a huge success. You know, you're getting that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Flashpoint is 100 percent happening, uh, and uh, they're gonna make a a Batman movie. Yeah, and Suicide Squad too. Oh uh, no! Squad please, who's filming? And uh, please recently, don't. I please also don't. heard they added a, a Man of Steel two to that. I mean, please yeah. don't make any more Suicide Squad movies. No, they are, that already, that movie made a filming. lot of money. It's happening. Oh, I know. It's got it's a Joker vehicle. It's it's a Joker and Harley Quinn vehicle, and I'm pretty sure they're well, going to they use killed off all those extra Joker and Harley Quinn projects. Yeah, Thankful. and also Thank they're God. they're not going to do uh, Gotham City Sirens now. They're going to nope. do uh 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 um. Birds of Prey, Black Canary and her hit squad and stuff like that. And I'm less okay with that. I am also. I don't <laughs> that understand need, that'll it, get That's going to get cut. I don't believe that. I don't want made. any of that at all. Like you I don't make think that'll get made at all. Just make a Joker and Harley Quinn movie. I don't, I don't even, even want that. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, no, especially I mean, if they're going to have Jared Leto as the I want to Forgetting the yeah. fact, like Margot Robbie, she was fine. Yeah, Harley. She, she forgetting the fact that Jared Leto is the Joker. If if you ask me what I want, I mean, oh, I fucking, I would love a Joker movie. I've always been like, why don't, why does Joker have to be play second fiddle to Batman? I mean, be Batman, but I've always wanted a Joker movie. Yeah, like the best part of the Dark Knight was was the Joker. He's oh Ledger, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, he, I mean that, because that, we'll never his, get that. He was again. so vague with his backstory. I was like, oh man, I really wish I could get like a. a That's a why it was good though. I never wanted to get a prequel. I wanted him to stay. No, it stay would have mysterious. absolutely yeah. taken from the Dark yeah. Knight. Yeah, no, I mean, but don't, I, don't, I do, I, I would don't, don't explain that. that Joker's origins, yeah. don't explain any, because every, you know yeah, every time he changed the story up, every time he changed the story up, it was, it was yeah, more they, interesting, they, it was they, better, like, like, I loved it. He's, he's just a dog chasing cars. Like, that, that's why I love, that, that's why to this day, it's my favorite Batman movie ever, it's my it's favorite the, comic book movie ever. It's the ever. best comic book movie I mean, movie it wasn't quite a comic book movie in, in too much of the sense, like, but it was still really, really good, and it's my favorite it movie to say. Yeah. And the, uh, honestly, my reason I don't want a Joker movie, um, because we're getting one. By the way, I know we probably will. And I, the thing is, if if you're doing that, that whatever it was, the Scorsese Joker. Fine. Yeah, the Scorsese. I don't see that. That's not a Joker movie. That's a Scorsese crime drama where the villain is called the Joker. Well. It's you know, not look, a joke look, look what we got. We got the Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Yeah. Say whatever you want from Dark Here's, Knight Re- about Dark Knight thing. Rises, but you have Christopher Nolan. Yeah. You, you know, you, you got that amazing movie. So, I, But that's I'll the thing about it. the Joker and Batman is they work because they play off of one another. And, well, Christopher Nolan was amazing. That's why the Joker is so is such an iconic villain is because everything he does yeah. is to fuck with Batman. And they are the perfect, like, he's the perfect rogue for Batman. It's why they need – it needs to be a Joker and Batman movie. Like to see her, him and Harley Quinn go around and like fuck up the town and, you know, poison people with laughing gas the whole time. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Like unless they're being chased by Batman and Nightwing the whole time or something. See, that's that's what I'm saying. Like I would love a Joker movie where he's the focus and Batman is that looming threat. That might that might be interesting. Because like, the, the, the fucking Batman is after you. Yeah, and he's not 
there's not the, I... all this attention paid to shining a light on him as a character. Yeah. He's just this looming threat and this fucking force that's after you. It would be awesome. You know what? I'll be honest. I would ben love Affleck to is do an that. imposing motherfucker as Batman. Do in those a movies. horror movie with Batman where you hey, don't know whatever. where you have a bunch of criminals in Gotham. You don't know it's Gotham. You don't know it's a Batman movie. The whole time they're terrified of this thing. It's going to come out of the darkness and just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> and the whole yeah. time, the very end, you fucking like you finally show it's goddamn Batman. Take all my money. I'd watch that movie. It'd be the greatest horror movie. But no, yeah, I t- I'm I'm and, so glad uh, too they killed the uh, Black Adam movie. So he's going to be in yeah. Shazam. I don't give a shit what DC says right now. Black Whichever Adam comes first, Shazam. Suicide Squad two or because uh, I I heard that uh, he might be the villain in that, which is rumored so to be the villain. Stupid. I mean, a man. Oh, you we're know, gonna have a dude who throws fireballs. He, it makes no and fight sense, really. A god. It makes no sense. It's it's just the Suicide Squad is just like their main. That's why I don't. I didn't Joker. want a Gotham City Sirens or a bird. I don't want a Birds yeah. of Prey because that's what Suicide Squad is. That is that that is a reach. Yeah, that is so reaching. You need to worry about making Batman movies, Superman movies, all the big ones. Yep. I don't give a fuck about I mean, Harley Quinn's great. I don't give a fuck about Harley Quinn when it comes to her getting her own movie. She's not a so character dumb. that deserves her own movie at this point. Yeah. Marvel have made like 20 plus movies to get to the point where you can make a Doctor Strange or a Black Panther. You don't make a Suicide Squad movie before you've made a second Superman. Yep. Okay, so I don't I don't mean to Moving just on from DC. Derail this, but Okay, I, I, I just got to go on a little bit of a rant here. We'll rant all day about It DC. fucking pisses me off. Mm-hmm. Facebook just removed a post of mine that it considered spam. You know what the fucking post was? What? It was me sharing our podcast. Yeah. What the fuck? Damn. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so what about the 37 other times I've shared the fucking podcast link? Why didn't you remove those? You know, like, what is wrong with me trying to get... Is it, are you mad because I'm not giving you money? Because for, you're not giving them. I'm the not giving you. I'm not giving I you money. It. Facebook that I'm reaching over. We're reaching over 150 people on average without paying you. Come on, go fuck yourselves. Seriously, that that's retarded. And not not to do it once. After I told them it wasn't spam, you know what they did? They did it again, within a minute. Facebook, get your shit together. Me hate, sharing my podcast Facebook. so that people know it's there, so people are getting out there and fucking listening to it is not spam. Go fuck yourself. Were you sharing the link to last week's episode? or? Well, yeah, I shared the link. That's the thing. I shared the link to it after it posted Yeah, a week ago. Oh, and it's they just They just now. removed it. Uh, what? Okay. That's, that makes no what sense. The why would, fuck? Why would... Cause it, I, because I mean, it I don't looked like spam yet. to them. Suck my spammy dick, you fuck asses. How many stupid fucking shit get memes and shit get reposted by those stupid fucking God. pages I'm, that have no purpose? Other I get than on just Facebook and I'm pages. off of Facebook within minutes because I, it, hate, I just God damn I fucking, fucking can't deal with it. Media. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Just so and so shared this retarded thing. So and so post. I don't. Well, All right, I'm. I'm just. I'm it. upset now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, hey, let's let's move um, on. John um, Cena's playing Duke Nukem. Yeah, that may be happening. That you know what? I actually. Fuck it. No okay. script. No. Here's the no thing. writers. Here's Make it rated R. Here's have the thing. It directed no. by Michael Bay. No, 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 no. Can we stop with video game movies? They're terrible. No. They're fucking terrible. They're, They're all bad. always terrible. They're at never this point, good. you don't. If the if you do the video games right, you don't need them. Like, look at God of War four. I don't even want a God of War movie now. I'm sure. I'm they sure got a it's movie in the void. game. Yeah, the game. You know what the game is? The movie. Yeah, and you can kill people. Because you in can't it. tell some of these stories in any other method. Near is a good example. Near Automata. You yeah. can't tell that story unless it's in a video game. Yeah, no, you, you could, can't tell. You, do it. you can't tell The Last of Us in a movie and have it. Have the that Last much. of Us is a perfect example. Like they've been yeah. flirting with the idea of making a movie. I'm like, like no. Why would you do that? No. Because no. uh, here's just what you make know. a carbon copy, and you know they're not going to do that. If you're going to do they're it, they're going to fuck it up. Don't mm. make a movie. Make a series. Make a yeah. TV series like Game of Thrones. 
a Game of Thrones style TV series would tell the story so I, much better than a two hour movie. I have such high hopes for the Witcher series because yeah. if it is a huge success and it's done really well, it'll set a new precedent for like video what to do with video game properties like right, yeah. cinematically yeah. and honestly. And well stuff no, like I that. well no, because it's not video game based, it's based on the books. Well they I, it's I based it on the based books, but the they game. they oh. have said that it's going to f- it's going to follow like like uh, like The Witcher Three, like the style of that, like the look of it, the the characters okay, in I mean, that game. Maybe, but the source material they're not they're not going oh, to the games. I know. They're I'm, going I'm, to the book. So I'm aware. I mean, it's not a video game property; it's book property. It's like Game of Thrones. It's basically Game of Thrones for The Witcher. So I hear you. I just yeah. that's CD just Project what I read. Red had something to do with it, though. No, like oh, The yeah. Witcher it's is the, a The Witcher is a author. book series, but yeah, yeah. Polish but uh, and it, it it was it's licensed into it being a game. But uh, mm. the creators, like last wow, year, man. I remember reading like they they want to they want to capitalize on the success of the third game, so they don't want to stray too far from like, yeah. the goings on in that game. But they're they're basing what they're creating, what they're writing on the books more than the games. <clears throat> and the books are very different from the game. I hear, I hear. Yeah, they're still really they're like they're Geralt amazing, is a fucking though. dick in the books. Apparently, yeah. Well. Sort of, and, but Yen's Yen's still a bitch, and yeah. <laughs> but in the books, Triss is a fucking well, she's a manipulative, manipulative anyway. But yeah, apparently she's way worse in the books than the game. I guarantee you, they're gonna go with the game girl because Probably. you oh, don't yeah, have like that girl as positive a story. Yeah. I'd, Fuck that. I'd be willing to bet money that they're going to. They might say they're going with the books, and yeah. that's probably where they'll get the story beats from. But character wise, they're going to pull as much from the game as they can. They get Jamie but, Lannister because but, but they guys, know they're going to get more people. Seriously, stop with the video game movies; they're not good. Yeah, you know what the best one was? So especially, far is especially the uh, Halo short films. Especially, those were fucking great. And those weren't done by movie studios. No, no. they were done by fucking. They couldn't uh, make and that's a good. That's when they can work. Mm-hmm. When you make the game, like when the game creators, with Actually, the exception of SquareSoft. With the exception of Square, because the Final <laughs> Fantasy movies were awful. No, Square, they yeah. were awful, and uh, the the World of Warcraft movie was awful as well, and that was pretty much Blizzard. That I did like it. the first Silent Hill. I, I you know, know what though? They, they couldn't they, make. They a could good... have given that to Yui Bowl. <laughs> so <laughs> they couldn't Fuck make a good him. Assassin's Creed movie that had Michael Fassbender starring, and it was a love project of his. Yeah. He was a producer. Yeah. On the movie. They they couldn't take that. You can license. say that, but he didn't look like he gave a shit. He's a producer the, the and he's starring and he. Okay, yeah, but you like, get a producer credit just for like they'll ask you, "Hey, you want to be a producer on this? Get extra credit." Yeah, okay. Like I don't, I I, 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 I call bullshit on a love <laughs> that, project. You know, that that fucking reminds That's what I me heard. of the scene in. Uh, he, he really he was like, terrible. Hold on, that that yeah. reminds me of the, of the scene in uh, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back when you got Chris Rock directing the movie, yeah. and, and the and the dude from uh, whatever band that was walks up and says, "No, I'm the executive producer." Well, the executive produced me a latte. <laughs> Like that. That's what it basically. That, yeah. Like there you go. That guy had an, a producer <laughs> credit and wasn't doing anything. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I liked the first Silent Hill. I didn't. The second one was awful. Yeah. But uh, I, I yeah. like I, the the first one has really grown on me over the years. The first it's Resident not, Evil movie was feel really like a damn good. Movie. Yeah, that's why it was good. First yeah. Resident Evil movie was is I, people. Don't think it's accurate. I think that movie is a fucking classic. I mean, compared uh, to the rest of them in the series, the first one. Yeah, compared to the rest I of them in the series, it. it's, it's better. I, I I enjoyed it for what it was. I didn't think it was great or anything, but I mean, it, it was entertaining. I, I think the reason why it was anything good is because it was just it just took from the source material, but told its own story. Yeah, exactly. We and all that, know if the... you're gonna do a video game property. That's the way you need to do it. If you're yeah. going to transform it into a movie, just say, okay, here's the source material. Let's pick some things out of this, and let's tell a story about that. <laughs> but then we all know the, the greatest video game movie that ever will be Mortal is Kombat. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Street Fighter's pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, I'm not going to sit here. <laughs> you know what? Van you're Damme in that so movie was amazing. Mom. All right, guys. He's uh, so terrible. Let's go guy. ahead and wind it down there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> only other thing I was going to mention was the uh, Pacific Rim trailer came out. Looks good. I don't care. I didn't yeah. watch it. I don't want to see another thing about it. <laughs> I never saw the first movie, so I, I don't. Say, I don't have a reason watch to be excited. For this. It's really if you can cool. get get a cut of just Guillermo the del fights, Toro, yeah. And it's well, crazy. not even that. It's Guillermo del Toro's like like he, at one point he's it's very anime, like a fucking giant robot. Exactly. Punches, punches through a fights. building and his his fist stops right on like a a kinetic ball and taps ding, it. Ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> this fucking fifty 
five hundred foot tall robot or whatever. The moment when he walks up with the fucking um ship and the, oil the, tanker, the oil tanker, and like fucking, a fucking pulls sword? it up like a baseball bat, yeah, and like slaps it in his hand, like I'm gonna beat on you now, boy, and beats the shit out of that guy. Seriously, just watch the fight scenes. Uh-huh. Ignore the yeah, love story whatever. that's kind of there. Just watch whatever. The sciencey so. stuff's okay. But yeah, just watch putting a love scenes. story in a movie like that is like I, focusing on the I mean, humans sorry, in the Transformers movie. I just don't like. It's like that. a will they weren't they? Will I think they this thing. blonde guy has the he'd be he has a really good look for like Oliver Queen, uh, Green Arrow. But I that blonde guy who's not started, a great actor. I don't like him. I don't like no. him. I've I haven't. I just he's like. I like the Australian not, guy he, a hell of a lot I more. Keep to, I keep wanting to think he's kind of got this Tom Hardy thing going on where he's got like a really good look, but he's really like – he's not out. He's, but he's not a talker. He's just more like the silent actor like fucking Ryan Gosling in almost everything that I've ever seen him in. He's like a bargain bin Chris Hemsworth. He's uh, – Chris – He's like one of the bar- he's like bargain. He's like a not actual- likable Norman Reedus. <laughs> oh, Norman, I don't, I don't Norman Reedus like Norman is fucking Reedus. awesome. Well, I mean, just characters like these guys, uh, actors who have tried a good to make look. Him, well, they want him to be like he's making Chris, a living. Uh, I haven't Captain th- America. I haven't thought he's been. He, I, don't, I haven't seen any like charismatic or charisma in him no, he, at he all. He has no leading man like ability whatsoever. He the, he was in like that what that that uh, that. Like a, a fucking wasn't it, um, that King Arthur King Arthur yeah. movie that He's, fucking bombed. that was it. They'll never try and make him a leading character again because I, he can't right. do it. Like he, he can't needs, hold the movie. He needs to play second fiddle and 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 Chris Evans. He's like he's like a bargain bin Chris Evans, and he can't do it. He's oh like, wow, he just can't. That's that's kind of sad. But anyways, I don't like that guy. That's my yeah. problem with the first movie. All right. All right. Anyways. I got to piss, guys. So right. we're going to go ahead and wind this down now, please. Yep. So I can take a piss. <laughs> so, you know, same thing we always say. Check us out on Facebook. Check out our website. But we also have a... We have a Patreon. Yes. Go throw us a buck. Give us some money. Yep. Um, if you want to, donate. Yeah, yeah, you we, know. Don't don't have to, though. The big thing, though, that I w- if we're going to ask you for anything, give us some ratings on iTunes. Yeah. That's a huge thing for us. You know, it gives us some more exposure. It doesn't cost you anything more than a few seconds to go, hey, these guys suck, but you Rate should listen to three anyway. stars, one exactly. star, five yeah. stars, whatever. Well, whatever give us you a rating. Give us a rating. Let those other people come in, and then they can drop us a dollar or two. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> get, us, get the word out that we exist, though. And, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll be ever grateful. Mm-hmm. That's all yeah. we need. We just want more people. Check us out there. Uh, Twitter, we don't, even, Facebook, we don't even care about getting website. the money. We just want we want people to know we're out there. Like, yeah, yeah, you guys just need to break even, and you yeah, never like, know. If see this where could, this goes. I'd we like have to see endless possibilities. Itself. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna get and wind it down for the ungodly geeks. I was Joe. I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good day and fuck Konami. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>